here's the circuit and uh, these two red LEDs are the same type same manufacturer you know they're in a bag with a whole bunch of other of the same type and I want to show you what happens when I turn up this resistor here. Now I hope I don't knock this out, but you can see the LED on the right is lighting up. Okay, now it's on all the way. But what I want to point out is the LED on the left is not. Okay, let me turn that back down. And we got some pretty good control here on this too. Okay, now this is in the collector circuit of the transistor. This one is in the base circuit of the transistor. Let me turn this back up again and show you that it is really in the base circuit. The transistor, by the way, is right here, that little metal cap right here. The green wire goes to the base, and if I pull out this LED, the circuit stops working. Let's see if I can't get this back in. This might take some doing here. Let's see. Did, did it, did, oh. There we go. And like I said, this goes to the base of the transistor. So it, this is definitely in the circuit and I don't see it lit up at all. I'm going to turn off the lights and see if we can see anything at all. Oops. No, I don't see anything on the left LED. So, what that means is uh, there's not enough current going through this LED to light it up. But there is enough current going through that LED to allow the transistor to control the LED on the right side. So let's take a closer look at the circuit. I'm going to take voltage and current readings when the circuit is like this and when the circuit is like this. When this LED is on and when that LED is off. Here's the wiring diagram of that circuit and you can see that it's pretty simple. All the way to the left we have a variable resistor 
that you saw me turn and the variable part is connected to a 5k ohm resistor that goes to a 9 volt supply and in the center or at the variable part of that resistor the A stands for an ammeter that's where I will put an ammeter to take some readings and then there's the LED that didn't light and you can see it's connected to the base and the transistor is uh, well you can see it's a 2N2222 general purpose transistor and they're cheap and I've got a 200 ohm resistor from the emitter to ground that's a current limiting resistor so I don't burn up the transistor on the collector we've got the LED that does light and another ammeter which and the other part of it goes to the 9 volt supply. Now when I started to turn the variable resistor and that pointer is moving upwards you could see that that LED started the light and I had actually pretty good control over the brightness of that LED and when I continued and turned it up all the way and the LED was the brightest we've got the the most positive voltage going to the base now later on or I think I mentioned in the video I am going to measure the on off and here's the on off uh, we've got the on right now and of course this is the off I'm talking about the LED so I'm going to take voltage readings and current readings and we'll see if we can make some sense of what is going on here and how a transistor can amplify. We've got a hint of it here because the LED on the base never lights. So that means there's not enough current going to the base to light that diode. However, the current that is going through that diode is enough to activate the transistor and as we all saw it uh, has no problem turning on that LED here's what I found now I'm gonna I'm not gonna switch back between on and off pages is that that's just too confusing so we're just going to use this page when the LEDs off all the way to the left I found out that we had about a minus 58 millivolts in other words it's zero and when the LED was off in the collector circuit we had 7.76 volts DC now when I turned up the resistor all the way we had on the base circuit 4.7 volts DC but look what happened in the collector circuit it went down a little bit not much to 7.20 volts and that's because the transistor is conducting or another way to look at it the transistor has turned into a variable resistor I also took measurements of the current and if we take a look at the current 
in the base circuit. When it's off, it's zero milliamps. But when it's on, it's only 0 0.11 milliamps. Not very much. But take a look at what's in the collector circuit. When it's off, it's 0 milliamps. But when it's on, it's 17.23 milliamps. That's quite a bit more milliamps. So I decided, I wonder how many times dot one one goes into 17 dot 23 because that's the increase so it's a simple division and here it is turns out to be about a hundred and fifty seven times greater so this little current in the base from zero to dot one one controls the current through the collector emitter circuit from zero to seventeen dot twenty three milliamps. That's a pretty good increase, and that's how transistors amplify. Transistors are mainly current devices and you can see that if you take a look at the voltages again the voltage on the base changed quite a bit but it didn't change that much on the collector emitter circuit on the transistor but the current sure did thanks for watching